My life with anorexia was really a living hell. Kitchener's Kim Rollins spent more than 20 years battling anorexia. She tried everything to save herself, but nothing could help. My mom has told me before that she was planning my funeral. But today, all of that has changed. Rollins underwent deep brain stimulation, known as DBS, a revolutionary brain surgery pioneered at Toronto's Kremble Neuroscience Centre. Okay, so it's given her a new lease on life. This treatment can offer others hope. That's, that's what it's offered me. It's taken me from before I had it where I was, it was basically certain death. In these six patients, we found that we were able to place electrodes, deep brain stimulating electrodes, in the brain. Uh, we are able to turn down areas of the brain that are abnormal in anorexia, and this in turn helps alleviate some of the associated anxiety and depression, and in some cases, in half the patients, was able to restore their weight. While DBS has been used to help so patients with other there. neurological disorders, this is so the first the time it's been used to treat anorexia. <laughs> Results are giving Kim and others hope. Okay, good. So you can... I've just reached a better point in my life than I ever thought that I would get to. Rollins psychiatrist Dr. Blake Woodside says this research is so important because eating disorders have the highest death rate of any mental illness, and more and more women are dying from anorexia. Most of the people that have chosen to engage in this treatment are people who've been sick for many, many years, have tried everything to try and get better. They've been in treatment many, many times. Many of them have been near to death frequently. They've just given up and felt that traditional treatments aren't going to work for them. While deep brain stimulation is a promising treatment for anorexia, Dr. Lozano says more research is needed to advance our understanding of the brain. Only about half of the patients actually increased their weight. Uh, and so we, uh, I think we've made a, a, a first step into this complex disorder using uh, neurostimulation surgery that we have a long way to go. But for Rollins and others with severe anorexia, this first step is definitely in the right direction. There is hope um, as somebody who's had it for over 20 years. I just feel like I'm alive for the first time in years.